Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Lewis Sports Network. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure your post notifications are turned on. Make sure you're sharing on your social media platforms. Truly appreciate it. Hope everybody is having a wonderful Monday evening as we are getting ready for the play-in that starts in tomorrow. All the all the playoff seedings are just about set from one through six in both conferences, but we now we got to figure out who are going to get the seventh and eighth spots tomorrow for both tomorrow throughout this week right before the playoffs start on saturday for the seventh and eighth spots in the east east and the west so make sure to stay tuned for that probably going to be going live for that week and then we got ourselves a heck of a playoff where we have to probably do a playoff preview but on to the video ladies and gentlemen peace and blessings to everybody hope you guys are having a wonderful monday night i want to give a congratulations to kevin durant uh i was reading on i think it was nba.com and then I saw another report on Bleacher Report of the history that Kevin Durant just accomplished this season uh, at the end of the year. Uh, so even though he only played 47 games combined with both Brooklyn and Phoenix, because he missed time with the MCL sprain in his knee and then also with the ankle injury that he hurt in a pregame warmups when he was supposed to make his son's debut against the OKC Thunder, Kevin Durant made history. He became the third player in NBA history to have multiple 50, 40, 90 seasons. He joined Steve Nash and he joined Larry Bird. Larry Bird is the first player to not only be the founder of the 50, 40, he was the first player ever to do a 50, 40, 90 in a regular season. He became the first player to do it in back-to-back -back seasons and was the first multiple time winner. Steve Nash has done it on four different occasions and he's the only four time winner. He has the most 50, 40, 90 seasons in NBA history. But <clears throat> what KD did was not only did he shoot a career high 56% from the field, which is a career best, but Kevin Durant also is the first 55, 40, 90 NBA player in NBA history. So KD shot 56% from the field. He shot just under 41% from the three-point line, and he shot just under 92% from the free throw line this year. Those are his shooting splits. 56, 40.8, and 91 for the season. KD's the first player in NBA history, 55, 40, 90. Never been done in NBA history, and that's a congratulations. Also, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all remember that KD only shot, I think, 41% from the field in his rookie season. But guess what? Dating back to the 2012-2013 season, which I've constantly said many times on this channel is KD's most underrated season in which he got no first place MVP votes, leading the Thunder, along with Russell Westbrook, to 60 wins and the number one seed in the Western Conference when they had just lost James Harden in the offseason to the Houston Rockets. This is Kevin Durant's ninth straight season shooting since the 2012-2013 season, 50% or better from the field. And for those who are like, oh, the only reason that KD shot 50% is because he was with the Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, KD prior to joining the Warriors had four straight seasons shooting 50% or better from the field. He shot 50% in his MVP season too. I think KD splits in... Uh, in his 2013 season were 51 from the field, 41 or 42% from three, and I think he was at 92% from the line, or 90, 91, something like that. I don't remember his exact splits, but they were 50, 40, 90. Uh, but yeah, uh, the only reason that it's not 10 straight seasons shooting 40% is because, 50% uh, from the field, excuse me, is because he missed the 2020 season with the torn Achilles, which makes it nine straight. But think about that, ladies and gentlemen. And also think about this, bro. KD has shot 50% from the field or better with three different teams. OKC, Golden State, and Brooklyn. He's now with Phoenix. Now, I got to see what he does in a full season with Phoenix. If he does it for a full year with the Phoenix Suns, that'll be four different teams in which KD has shot the ball 50% or better. That's incredible efficiency, ladies and gentlemen, to have nine straight seasons shooting 50% or better from the field. And he's a, and he's just a tenth of a point under 50% for his career. That's crazy. 
So just wanted to put that out there as a, as a stat, ladies and gentlemen. So congratulations to Kevin Durant. That's incredible efficiency for one of the greatest. He's actually making the case arguably as possibly he could be, you know, he's obviously one of the greatest shooters slash scorers of all time, but now he's really making the case up there. I mean, and the thing is, KD is someone who's doing it constantly for the fact that this guy's doing it primarily on perimeter play, jump shots. Like, KD doesn't drop to the basket like that. So for him to be shooting 50% for nine straight seasons with the Jimmy, with the jump shot, that's incredible efficiency, which I salute to you, Kevin Durant, as you're one of the greatest scorers and most efficient scorers that the NBA has ever seen. Point blank, man. So just wanted to put that out there, man. Let me know what you guys think, ladies and gentlemen, on KD being the first player to ever have a 55-40-90 as the founder of that club in NBA history. Let me know what you guys' thoughts in the comment section. Bless up, live, laugh, love. Thank you guys for watching.